So I've come back to London for a week and this time I'm staying in Lewisham, which is just south of Greenwich and where I'm heading to right now. It's a Sunday. I don't want to head out into central London today because I think it's going to be a little bit busy and that also means tomorrow I can get a seven day travel pass, travel unlimited for the next seven days for when I will be sort of going in and out of London a little bit more. But today the plan is to go to Greenwich famous for the Greenwich Meridian or GMT, effectively where time begins. Anywhere to the east of Greenwich is considered in the Eastern Hemisphere. Anywhere to the west of Greenwich is in the Western Hemisphere. So I've made it to Greenwich. I'm in the middle of this big park and the place I want to come to is the observatory right here, the Royal Observatory at Greenwich where the Prime Meridian is. So let's go check it out. I've run into one problem, the entrance to see it, it's about a £10 fee. So I'm going to go on the lookout to see where I can find the Prime Meridian for free. So the Observatory Hill is quite popular and that's because it has a great photo op behind me. It is quite a nice view. It's Canary Wharf right there and over that way, City of London, just on the other side the Olympic Park. So although I can't get into the observatory itself, it is important to remember that the Prime Meridian runs all the way from the North Pole down to the South Pole. So I've had a quick look at the map of Greenwich Park and I've done a little bit of googling. I've discovered that if I head north up to one of the roads on the uh, northern end of the park, there is a little bit of a symbol, some road markings on the ground that I can get to and stand on both the east and western hemispheres at the same time. So a quick walk out of the Park Row gate leads me to Park Vista Street right over here and just one or two blocks down this street should get me to the Prime Meridian. It's so hard to spot right there on the ground. It's so small that I actually missed it the first time I came through. But this is it, the line that divides the Eastern Hemisphere from the Western Hemisphere. And so it's possible to stand one foot on each side and stand on both hemispheres simultaneously. So there it is, just a simple road marking which shows us where the Prime Meridian is, East and Western Hemisphere, all for free. You can thank me later. And now I'm going to celebrate by doing something I haven't attempted in almost 20 years. And that is to do 20 forward rolls back there in a row and then try and walk back to this spot. Let's give it a go. The Prime Meridian, of course, extends from the North Pole down to the South Pole, meaning that there is an infinite number of locations that are similar. Here is the first other location I found, a stone sign on the ground in Lewisham. A little bit further to the north is the East India DLR station. And I'm just going to exit the station and head down the stairs to the base of this uh, station, because there you can find another prime meridian right here down at the base and also going up the neighboring building so i'm once again standing on both the eastern and the western hemisphere at the same time 